CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 21 through 25 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 21. A company needs to provide secure administrative access to internal systems while keeping external traffic exposure to a minimum. Which of the following methods would be the most secure way to achieve this? The answer is A. Implementing a bastion host. The most secure way to allow administrative access to internal resources while limiting outside traffic is by implementing a bastion host. A bastion host is a specially hardened server placed at the edge of a security boundary, such as a DMZ, and it's designed to be the only point of entry for administrative connections from external networks. Once authenticated, administrators can access internal systems from this single control point. This limits exposure and creates a clear audit trail. Bastion hosts are also known as jump servers, a term you might remember from a previous question. Both serve the same purpose, reducing direct access to internal systems while maintaining necessary admin functionality. Question 22. A security analyst is investigating suspicious network activity tied to an employee's corporate laptop. The analyst needs more information about the specific executable running on the device to better understand the source of the behavior. Which of the following log sources would provide the most relevant data for this investigation? The answer is D. Endpoint. To gain insight into the specific executable running on the employee's laptop, the analyst should turn to endpoint logs. Endpoint logs collect detailed information about processes, including which executables are running, when they were launched, and how they behave. This is critical when tying suspicious network activity to specific actions or programs on a user's device. Question 23. A cyber operations team notifies a security analyst about a new tactic being used by malicious actors to breach networks. No SIEM alerts have been created yet for this activity. Which of the following actions should the analyst take to best identify signs of this behavior? The answer is D. Threat hunting. Threat hunting is the proactive search for signs of malicious activity within a network, especially when no alerts or detections are in place. In this case, the analyst is acting on intelligence from the cyber operations team and must manually look for patterns, anomalies, or indicators of compromise. Since the SIEM is not yet tuned to detect this behavior, threat hunting is the best approach to uncover evidence of the new tactic. Question 24. An organization is concerned about potential financial losses from ransomware attacks and data breaches. To help manage this exposure, the company purchases a cyber insurance policy that would provide compensation in the event of an incident. Which of the following risk management strategies does this action represent? The answer is B. Transfer. Purchasing cyber insurance is an example of risk transfer, a strategy where the financial impact of a potential incident is shifted to a third party, such as an insurance provider. This allows the business to manage its exposure without having to eliminate the risk entirely. Risk transfer is especially useful when some risks are too costly or impractical to fully prevent. Question 25. A company issues laptops to employees who frequently travel and work remotely. To protect sensitive data in case a device is lost or stolen, the security administrator needs to implement an effective encryption method. Which of the following should be used to secure the data on these laptops? The answer is C. Full disk encryption. Full disk encryption protects all data stored on a device by encrypting the entire contents of the hard drive. This ensures that even if the laptop is lost or stolen, the data remains inaccessible without the proper credentials. 
It is a practical and secure solution for mobile devices, such as a laptop, that may be exposed to physical threats outside of the organization. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.